I'm Alistair McDougall. I'm the wardrobe supervisor here at Weta Workshop. My role on the Pacific Rim was to coordinate the assembly and development of a number of costume elements in this production. I'm Kelly Marie as costume fabrication and senior onset technician on Pacific Rim Uprising. The client brought to us a brief with some very unique challenges and we were able to work with the designer to give them solutions and to ensure that the design from Legacy and the final product was as close as physically possible. We're, we're really lucky to have Liz Wolf on this film. She's very giving as a costume designer. She understood what a big process this was going to be and trusted us as well as we trusted her. We made a number of suits for the virtual reality room in, in the film. These suits were all made of urethane, so they were very, very fitted to the bodies, similar to a wetsuit. Making suits made out of different materials as opposed to fabrics. It was quite interesting. They, um, they come with their special challenges. We work very closely between costume and 3D to make sure everything lined up. Sometimes what works on a computer doesn't necessarily work on a human form, so there was a lot of interaction between departments. Then going through the process of the props, casting, moulding, and right back again to our costume team to assemble it all. On Pacific Rim I have um, designed and uh, installed the animatronic part of the suit. We had two briefs from the client. They wanted a light on the chest to reflect the status of the suit and they wanted a simulation of a screen in the helmet. The wonderful Dustin Clare, who was Burke for the film and an incredible team of stunt people came over a few times to do fittings and it is a bit of an awkward process so definitely a big part of it is having fun, making them feel relaxed and comfortable. As comfortable as they can be in an 8kg so made of rubber with, yeah. <laughs> We also had to take into account that they would not be just standing in the suits, they would actually be suspended, so that changes the entire fit of the suit. We actually had a rig here so we could simulate how they would be on set. For that, we worked closely with the stunt team who came over and helped us with positioning and then we could make our little adjustments into the suit. After these fittings, we took the notes that we required, did the alterations, the suits were then had their final gluing together, then after that, we applied the decals and all the little, little bits of interest. Like a lot of productions, we had an odd set presence as well. So with these suits, we went over to ensure that the product always meets the client's expectations. It was my first on-set experience. It was quite uh, interesting, <laughs> but it was a good experience. It's a huge benefit for, for us but also for the production, because we knew every part of the suit and if they want to change anything, we can do that quickly. Every onset experience uh, comes with its own challenges, so a big part of onset is learning on the fly, you know, being able to make changes and be flexible. Definitely excited to see this movie, particularly one of the scenes, which was a big scene with all the costumes. Obviously, I'm really looking forward to seeing this film and seeing it all that work and how it comes together in the bigger picture.